Uh, Johnny me to reflect on his first season in Scotland is none other than Jade Gilbraith. The last time, Jade, thanks for joining us. No uh, what have you made of your, your first year in Scotland? Uh, it's you know it's been you know learning. It's been ups downs, uh, and more way more ups and downs, which is always a good thing when you play hockey. But all in all, it's been it's been fantastic. That's something that the crowd have taken to you as well. You, you hear them in the, the chant in the games like this. Giving you a real boost, I've seen. Oh, absolutely! You know, whenever you know, whenever somebody likes you, you're always happier about it than mm. if somebody doesn't like you. So, you know, the fans here, you know, we've just you know kind of bonded, and you know, when that happens, you know, you play better, and, and, and when you play better, you win games. So, you know, it's been it's been fantastic. There's fans here, but nothing but you know, unbelievable. So, that's that's a bit better than you expected in that respect. Oh, absolutely, way better. You know, you never know when you're going to go to a new team. Mm. Um, especially, if, especially as you were in our team for so long. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, any team when you go to a new team could be better, could be worse. Mm. No matter if it's a better team uh, in the standings or a worse team in the standings. You know. But um, you know, coming here, uh, I didn't know what to expect. I knew a couple of the guys, you know, Jordan and, and Ryan too, uh, Campbell, and you know, a couple other guys that I played against in my career. But you never know until you you play with them and you meet them, and especially the coach Drew. You know, um, I played against them in Germany a couple of times, but. You know, we just, we just, you know, all clicked and, and you know, um, we were, you know, this close away from, you know, being big upsets and, and bringing a cup home. So, you know, in that respect, you know, I think that we, we did a pretty good job. Now, for you, it was a big difference as well. You were at Nottingham for three years where you won the Challenge Cup, you were winning trophies. You come to a team with Brayhead, to a mid-table kind of team that are, that are pushing to try and get to that kind of level. Did you find that much of a difference? Oh, definitely. You know, um, when you play Nottingham in those higher level teams, winning is, is a lot easier um, uh, for teams like that, obviously, mm. uh, with the depth that they can get with the, the British players, with, with the money that they can, they can, they can offer you yeah. know, certain players. So in that respect, yeah, there is a difference, but I'm telling you right now, with Hall making it this, this year mm. to the final, with us doing so well, and you know, with, with the league um, being a little bit, you know, the, the, the bottomer teams, you know, weren't did do as well as they could, obviously. But with the sixth and up, you know, it was a pretty tight league, and, and I think the league to thrive has to have all you know, ten teams um, close. Mm -hmm. Like any team could beat any team at any time, and, and starting to get that way. And, and I think once. You know that the the, the 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 teams that don't necessarily make all the money and don't have that many fans and everything. Once they can, you know, get get over that and, and then start winning some games and Paul doing what they're doing, is is something that's going to help us league. Well, let's talk a bit more about the playoffs. I mean, you know, the four teams are in it well. You've talked at length about yep. Paul. Nottingham, you know, really well. Belfast and Cardiff. How do you see this weekend going? I, I think Nottingham's going to win. Um, with with the way they're playing and the way they play in their home rink. Um, Knowing firsthand when, when we played them in the second leg up three goals, and but I've never seen a team play better than they played against us all year. Right. With the way they played, we we absolutely had nothing. Like the way that they played there, really, uh, I have to tip my cap to them with what Corey did and Strax and, and the way they played. It was it was the hardest game that I've played in a long time to right. to, to try to. Uh, to win, and you, um, if they play like that, even half as good as that in their own barn, uh, with their fans, with the amount of fans they got there, mm -hmm. especially, uh, I think they're the favorites. But but it's a one game, it's one game each, so sure. you never know. Like last year, we were four seed, and, and we, we we won, so you never know. But uh, my I would think that nine them would win, but you know it's just predictions. You never know. But you Belfast and kind of ran away with the league this year. They've been performed really well all season. Yeah. Five losses in regulation time. Yeah. I mean, you, you choose not to come, but you can't. You never really let a team. Oh no, out. absolutely. You know what, what Doug Christensen did this year, and with the with, with with the guys on that team did. It was lose five games in a season. That's unheard of. And and I said I, I twittered it a couple times, saying it's just fantastic, mm -hmm. and, and they deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. And, but um, you know, traveling there, having to you know, especially play Hall first. With, with the way they're playing, and you never know. But if any team can do it, obviously they can. Do it. So I'm not, I'm not putting anything past. But you know, you got to pick a team to win, and, and I, I just think I am informed right now. And we'll, we'll, can't leave out Cardiff as well. They're in there also. Oh, well, absolutely. They've come here yeah. a couple of times and won as well. What have you made of them? Well, Cardiff, you know, they're the same all the time. They're always good. They're always going to be in the top four or five every single season. Um, G, uh, their coach G, has, has done a tremendous job. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's why he's going to be back for another two years. So, um, 
Uh, you can't you can't rule out any four of the teams, but um, you know I just think they're playing Nottingham first, and, and Nottingham definitely doesn't want to lose right off the bat. Especially you, you never want to see. Belfast to play. Is it Cardiff Belfast? No, it's Cardiff Hall or uh, Hall and Belfast. Right. One in, one in the last. And then Should have that yeah. <laughs> the but anyway, anyway, yeah. But um, Cardiff could do it too. But in in my respect, you know, Nottingham playing in their rank with the way they're playing right now. I just, you know, I'd be hard pressed for the games, I think. But, you know, I'm not an expert. I just play the games. Sure. Well, two more questions to go. One of them, what's been the highlight of your season here at Brayhead? Um, highlight of the season, probably the, the game against the Nottingham Tuesday. Like, I've, I've never been more proud of, uh, of a team. Mm -hmm. I've never been more proud of the city for how well they supported us on a Tuesday night. You know, it wasn't the best draw for us to have a game on Tuesday night, but it's been it was it was unbelievable to, to leave the rink that night. You know, I, I've been happier all year, so I think that that, that was probably. The best Did you get a award that night as well? <laughs> well <laughs> besides that, obviously you love your awards and everything like that. But man, I was you know, I was really really happy. Good stuff. And the last one, the fans are going to want me to ask you, what's the likelihood that we stay next year? Any, um, any thoughts well, on that? Yeah, definitely. You know, I love it here. Like I told everybody, I told Neil, the owner. Full Drew, um, I'm going to make a decision for a couple weeks sure. and, and, I, and I won't make a decision until they, they have a coach and, and Drew doesn't know what he's doing yet, they just don't know, so as of right now I, I, I don't know, but um, you know, there's very likelihood that I, that I won't come back because I, I did you know, enjoy it so much, um, but with that being said, I'm still going to wait for sure. longer to of it, but other than that, you know, I, I love it here and, and pretty good. Well, for the last time, thank you for joining this channel. No thank you very much.